black was number one voice for urban press. So when events like this happen, we have to be out here to show everybody this black excellence. Let's look at about black excellence. I'm a mad rapper in these streets. Super bars. Alcatraz is what they call me. Call you Alcatraz? Bars for days. Oh, oh, oh okay. okay, that's a good one. You know what I mean? That's a good one. Uh -huh. That's a good one. Okay. Right. 50. We're back. We are in the, the pyramid inside the pyramid. of the building. I like that. You like it? I like that. We're in a pyramid. Yeah. I like that. Matter of fact, I'm going to throw it on the screen. That's where we're at. Okay. <laughs> No relation to Jay-Z. Anyways, I am Kaiser Sose. I know I've been missing, but I'm here. Black. I'm black. And I am here with none other than Kobayashi and Vista. Hey, oh, that's the Adam family. That's the Adam family. No, Vista was a, nope. Vista was the dude that said, I'll keep you. I'll keep you. Oh, y'all better. If y'all don't watch it, he was in interrogation and the detective kept talking to him slick. And he was like, can you speak English? He said, I ain't speaking English. He said, I'll skip you. So have you ever okay. seen that movie? No, I It's a not. good movie. You guys, we got to watch that. Okay. On the date night. It is superbulous. Okay. It's a okay. good movie. It's a great movie. And you guys watch it and tell me what you think about the usual. Man, so get on here and talk about the greatness of <laughs> Kaiser Sose. Zero. With the bad hand? No. We're going to move on into some prime time news. I like that. I like that. Like it? Yeah. It's, see what I did there? <laughs> Talking about none other than Coach Prime. It's not my coach. They coach. But he coaching. Coach. He out here coaching. Doing the, the Colorado State. Colorado State University? University of Colorado. The University of Colorado. I obviously have a degree from somewhere. <laughs> All right. So they got money. They offered him $5 million. Okay. Coach Prime, a.k.a. Deion Sanders said, I'm coming. He <laughs> said, I'm mama. <laughs> he left. Okay. No, I'm playing. Look, don't do me. I'm joking. But for real, um, today's social heat is all about the men's word on the curb. I didn't make that up. It's in the article. Is Deion Sanders. He's taking a head coaching job at the University of Colorado for $5 million annually. Uh, Dion. <laughs> um, leaving his post at Jackson State. That's leaving at hey, Jackson State. Which I mean, you know what I mean? Pretty good with the air. I don't know how to put the tube in the... That's up. That's not where I was going. All right, anyway. Uh, many fans expressed their disappointment in Sanders and took the move as the pro, <laughs> pro Football Hall of Famer abandoning his HBCU position for a bigger bag at P. Who's going to abandon their position for a lesser bag? Don't you feel like they should be judged more for that? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Others are keeping an open mind, hoping that Sanders has a plan to bring players to the university who the top five recruiting schools generally ignore, a.k.a. players from colleges like Jackson State. All right. Hey, man, listen, just in short, let's just break it down here. Of course, we all know who the great Deion Sanders. Coach Prime is right now. Of course, you all know his history. Uh, he was a dual player, played uh, Major League Baseball and football at the same time, for those that don't know. And he's hip-hop royalty when it comes to sports and when it comes to the culture. He's a rapper. He actually did songs, man. He got videos out and everything. Let's videos. not be funny and everything. But when it comes to that gridiron, when it comes to that football field and baseball field, this guy was one of the fastest still in bases and everything in baseball okay when i say dual sports he was actually doing a hell he's the one guy that actually played in a playoff game and flew back to foot playoff baseball then flew in the same night and played football in the same night Deion sanders is that guy and also you already know his accolades in football the number one greatest court cornerback of all time, Deion mm -hmm. Sanders. He has uh, went to the Super Bowl multiple times. He's a uh, uh, all-star football player and the, one of the fastest guys who ever played football. Now, he took all that savoir faire style and swag, and he transported it to uh, a new being. 
and he became Coach Prime. Right. Okay. Now the dope thing that we think is dope is that Coach decided to take his talents to a HBCU. What does that stand for? Historical Black University College. That's right. He says, you know what? There's not enough sunshine on these uh colleges, colleges and their students. Okay, and the students, and we want to bring that celebrity, that style, that swag, that everything else that is supposed to be, so our young kids can be seen, right? right. So they can bring it. And you know, if anybody watched it, he was there for three years, but this year was culminating in eleven and old season. Hell, I saw Snoop Dogg, Rick Ross, everybody else down there chopping it up. Their apparel was uh, high sales. The merchandise was high sale. Hell, they even said they never wore the same uniform at once. They got different uniforms and he what he did was basically he went to a dilapidated uh system school um hell you know they had water problems and everything and he used his influence his money and resources to refurbish the facilities and to do a lot of different things and to put that put that attention on it that hip-hop attention and everything right and they end up going 11 and 0 definitely uh on espn a few times this year right and uh -huh. most likely they came down to the home to their home that um homecoming. Yeah, ESPN they, game they day. To, to the home, I seen their homecoming. Stephen A. Smith and them. And that's down that's there. I, I seen and eleven. Okay, that's eleven <laughs> and oh. That's eleven and, and oh. oh. And they hadn't even got to that point yet when they was down there at the homecoming. Now here's they seen the greatness. Now here's the thing. Wave uh, he said that he decided to put that emphasis on the HBCUs because the kids don't have those opportunities to be shining. And you know, um, when it comes to our kids coming out of the HBCUs transcending into the NFL is is little to know. And you don't you don't really understand like I I can say personally because they they got to come from a large family with with many talents. So we do I we do have cousins that are willing because they're that dedicated to you know making sure that the younger ones come up with better situations but not everybody has a cousin or a great cousin or an uncle that's going to travel to give you that highlight reel. People don't realize that when you come from an economically limited area mm -hmm. or background or situation, mm -hmm. then you there's highlight reel. There's extra. Th there's there's like miniature combines, you know, quote unquote, that they have that get your kids out there and exposed. When you don't have that social media presence, people paying for views. Et cetera, et cetera. You don't know, have that financial backing. It really plays a difference in where your future, your future. Yeah, what what options your child has, regardless of how great an athlete they are. The dope part is, Dion saw that, seeing that, and says, you know, we're going to adjust that. Right. And that's what he did. And that's what's so dope about this story, right? But now, since he's got that million dollar money and everything. That's Dion. Yeah, that's Dion. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to brag. I put my number out there, but it's manifestation. <laughs> <laughs> you know I mean? So, um, um, and so now that he blew up and everything, of course, if you guys watched the sixty minutes, uh, special that he was on, he they asked him if a big college would get involved, if they would offer him the bag, would he take it? He said, "I would be uncivilized not to even entertain that thought." He said, I will be uncivil like nothing. In Why would I not thought. maximize my resources? Yeah, and but what's, I think very small minded and narrow viewed is to think that someone who's already placed themselves in the position that they're in, a.k.a. Deion Sanders. Coach Prime. Coach Prime right. to go then after. I didn't did my do. I'm in the Hall of Fame. I didn't did. You know what I mean? I have my accolades where I really don't. I, I can I can rest on morals right at this point. But he didn't do that. He went back to HBC. He reached back. So yeah, I don't understand right. why they feel like if he gets even more assets and even more to where he wouldn't take that knowledge and then pass that along and make sure that things get okay. greater. Well, how I look at it is um, he's only one person within our community. Um, I look at a lot of these, um, what is it, uh, radio personalities, actors, um, different people that come from the HBCU that scream HBCU, HBCU 24-7. But um, you was reading it earlier when we was talking about it, um, the HBCU um, alumni or different people that put back in the community, put in what, only 60 million back in? But over here in Colorado, where he's going to, they put, they- The endowment they, is 5.1 billion. billion. So 
you want to be upset and talk about he should stay there and help the community. Which he already did. Which, which he's already did. And then above already, and beyond what was already there. Yeah, but and brought, you know, a lot of highlight to it. But if they also watch the other interview, and if you guys haven't checked that out, um, it's it's on the YouTube. Go and check it out. Um, that video was put up uh, a little bit earlier um, sometime. Go check that out, and you get to hear what he says himself. Um, and that's right here on The Usual Suspects. But also, what really is, is, is bothering me the most, these people act like he ain't got no kids. These people act like he don't have a family to support. These people acting like... I'm sure he got cousins and nephews and nieces. Yeah, but but and what I'm saying is they're talking all this smack and, and saying all these things and trying to make it seem like, how could he do this to the, HB, the HBCU? How can you do it to them? No, nah, they ain't even done nothing. No, no, no. no. But, 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 but what I'm point. saying, how can you do it to them? I'm talking to them. How black is beautiful community even if you didn't go to a hbcu instead of you buying a pair of jordans or getting a playstation 5 how about you donate that money to the school so maybe they can get a new gym so maybe that they can get a better academic uh some equipment on some better computers how about if you was a doctor and you came from the hbcu is you going back donating sometime making yeah, sure regard, that those even football if you ain't players got the money have you put in time have, have, have you even did any of that? What fundraisers are you doing to bring the HBCU up to the those, those type of standards? How about I heard um, a young man, he and I was listening to it earlier today, heard uh, a young man, I can't think of his name right now, was a YouTuber, talking about um, but the other community, not the melanated one, will pull their resources together and make sure that they have the income or the money to keep what they feel is greatness within their community. There's so some they communities go, where the dollar got to pass several times from hand to hand within that same community before and, they'll spend a cent elsewhere. And mm -hmm. that goes for me to say is if you want his type of statute, because to me, he set a precedence. He also let the HBCU see what type of coaches and what type of people that they need to go for to bring into their organizations you know good point, good point. you know as i'm interviewing you as a coach what type of community person are you what type of person that you can bring some assets along with you that's going to help raise Bottom up line is hold yourself to the same standard that you're trying to hold him to come on yeah that's yeah. the point you're talking about you getting mad they're getting mad, mad at coach prime for um going um to get bigger and better opportunities. These opportunities, everybody, is not just his. He was in a um interview. I think it was a close um he was talking to the team, the Colorado State. Um one of the um coaches raised his hands and said, Yo, are you trying are you gonna keep any of the um coaches? Here? He said, I think not. He said, I don't think so. <laughs> okay, that means you know what that means? That means he's bringing People who didn't have opportunities to before, to, uh, them. right, right. So um, this is what what's great. We already know sixty five to seventy five percent of the football players are predominantly us, black people. So why not have the coaches look, sound, talk, walk, and build just like us to talk like us? That's why Deion Sanders is so successful. He sounds like you, okay, words. He sounds like you, okay, sweetheart. He swags just like us. And so when these kids are being are being uh, recruited, and it's prime time, Coach Prime coming to your house first to talk to you about your son, and he's asking you for color greens, okay? And he say, "Damn, your chicken tastes just like my mama's." You know this man ain't lying. You know he's talking your talk. The days of us listening to, or he just compliments the mediocre chicken. Don't let it be you. <laughs> you better get your chicken game up. So, so the days of us as a people just always looking up to somebody who don't look like us, he'll talk like us, walk like us, swag like us, brag like us, okay, are, are coming to an end. And that's what these people are doing. Hell, I just read somebody um, decided to, uh, this is, we're recording this early. This happened on the day that we were recording this. Okay. He got somebody already recruited. Yep. Already. Ready. Before we already. came to the office. Get, and, and, and put it on Twitter and said, let's go make some history. history. He and said I, it. This is the young man. Yeah, he was already promised to go to another school. I forgot what school it was. But he changed his mind 
instantly. And decided to go where Coach Prime is. And not only that, what some people have to keep in the back of their mind and the back of their head, this is also a coach too that's getting them ready and preparing them and to go to the NFL. And if they don't make it to the NFL, he's teaching them how to be a prominent black man in this place where we live, North Come on. America. Come on. Come on now. So to Come me, on. instead of trying to uh, throw in those negatives and those different things, if you don't like the situation that's going on, if you a coach, then get up and coach something. If you a mama out there that got something to say, oh, he taking his, his talents to South Beach. Well, guess what? <laughs> Pick up your kids and go to that part of the sand. How about Come on, that man. Part? I like that. That's dope. I like it. Speaking of like, make sure you like our channel. Huh? Smash the subscribe button. Clicky the like. You know what I mean? Share it with a friend. Share it with your coworkers. Hey, I like that. Hey, listen, listen. If you're trying to promote you and your style, please give us a call at area code 330-937-2632. The number again is area code 330-937-2632. If you in Akron, you know how we put your face in the place, your brand at hand. Come on now. We're trying to make it happen with you. Show what you got. Um, what I got for you? <laughs> yeah. Like, share, like, and share. All right. <laughs> like, All right. Share it. I like that again. Okay. okay. And subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to hit that notification bell for when all our videos come up. Thanks. So uh, we're going to talk about it. Yay and Kim K. Who? K. Kim K and Yay. K. I coined it. All right. All right. So, uh, so Kim K and Yay's marriages. It's over. It's official. It's been official for a minute, right? Um, it's apparently. Yeah, but not like for a total minute. It's been like a week or so ago. But, but regardless of the marriage being over, let's talk about that child support. That blew up, man. 200000 That brother got to pay 200000 I'm about to... Sheesh. I'm pregnant right now. <laughs> <laughs> just thinking about it. so Kim Kardashian and Kanye West are finally divorced after months of the back and forth and one Pete Davidson oh I'm petty all right anyway bottom line is according to the settlement Kim and Kanye will get joint custody with equal access to their four children she had that's four babies all right uh how long were they married he pumped four babies in there. Yeah, they huh? had four. Oh, they had some. Oh, yeah. They had the, uh, they, the they've surrogate. Been married. They've been married for a while. Yeah, what do you mean the surrogate? Yeah, they, they should have all four of them babies. I thought they had a surrogate or something there. Was that I mean, one of her sisters? I ain't never heard of that. Um, we will be doing some investigation to make Fair. sure that we Look, know if so, she carried all children. Yeah, I'm like, I I'm mean, not sure. I don't want to argue with you about it. But we <laughs> will find out. But I'm going to go. <laughs> All right. So um, they're going to get equal access. Despite the equal access, though, sources close to the situation tells TMZ that Kim will most likely have the children the majority of the time. Kanye will pay $200,000 a month in child support. In addition, he's responsible for 50% of the kids' educational expenses, including tuition. I thought tuition was an educational expense, but apparently... The housing and went to, food, mm -hmm. it's books. Yeah, all that. He's paying it on top of the 200000 Yeah, he's responsible for 50% of it. Uh, educational expenses, including tuition. He's also responsible for 50% of the children's security expenses. Because you know them kids need a bouncer. <laughs> a paparazzi bouncer? Yeah, you got it. That somebody to shoulder them. It's aggressive. The powerful. paparazzi hit different, man. I've seen a... Um, I seen an actual uh, picture, a video last a couple of days ago of Kanye West walking into uh, maybe Target, okay, and it was like I don't know how these people knew this man was out here about to take his daughter shopping to Target, but it was, it was the paparazzi was out there, and he just trying to take his daughter to the they looked the crazy as hell, and he had one security guard with him, right? The, by the time he comes back, it's more it's like double more much more paparazzi out there. And um, people had their um, cameras on the glass, watching him zooming in and everything. He come out. They didn't even say Kanye West can have a question. They didn't want him to say nothing. But that is weird as hell. That would give me anxiety. That is that, that's crazy. But 
I mean, that looked crazy as hell. I'll be, I'll be I, slipping I mean, out. She just I mean, been going to the store. I'll be Where Spirit is his head, personal like, assistant? You call and say, hey, why, why I'm do such I, I want to go for myself so I no. can look at it and touch my, my sister. Yo, baby. So I can just no, gotta go through that. No, what I'm, yeah. no, what I'm saying is that's why you have personal assistants and you set these things up. You have your assistant call. Hey, I'm such and such and so and so. I would like to bring my daughter into the store to blah blah. blah. We want to bring the business to I'm you. I'm sure he did that. Which probably and why somebody tipped him off, and that's why they was man. I looked there crazy as hell, man. That looked and, like and Michael I, Jackson I was out there. I put a clause in there, and and if any of your employees, if I come there and this is going on, I need fifty percent off. No, that means we coming in here getting everything for the free. And they were going out the back door. You don't get nothing for the I free. Like I, mean, well, I mean, but but there's a but, billion there. But yeah, but I'm coming to your establishment now for free. No, I'm talking about to do. spend my money, but and I didn't set this up. Down. I don't know, yeah, man. Green. I guess he got Elvis money to do that. I guess he got Elvis money. He got but it. But he didn't do it though. So, but so, so, so what are the shopping. clauses? They got a clause, which is. What Char is talking about, he should have had Miss Target deal. Okay, you get a <laughs> <It's Target deal. laughs> I see one pop of rice. So I'm gonna need three outfits for the one. Um, one of the clauses of the settlement states that if they cannot agree on an issue when it comes to the children, they can participate in mediation. So there's a mediation clause in there. If one of them fails to participate, the other gets to make the decision and the dispute by default. <clears throat> They're looking at Kanye for that. All right. <laughs> As for property, the division of assets is in accordance with their prenup. And according to their prenup, both Kim and Kanye waived spousal support. I bet you don't need no spousal support. You get $200,000 a month for the... How much she yeah, she yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, but she... She don't need his $200,000 a but month. I mean, she don't. She got... Kim, you could donate it to me. No, but, but what I'm saying, financially, she ain't hurting... For for not I don't like know, their booty implants be having to have maintenance. Okay, but true. but she got money. She getting you know residuals off the the, the, the porn. You, you know, think and booties she, come with a warranty or something. What I'm saying is, <laughs> she has enough money to maintain her body habits. She does. She she's into the fashion because he showed her how to get into that game, and she has. Um, you know, con you know, they didn't dump her. They dumped Kanye. You know, she's still. Yeah. I don't think uh, she had what, what, uh, different different organized. Oh, she, oh, she making uh, the body the body shapers. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and what I'm saying is, he taught her that game in 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 fashion and how to move and deal with different individuals. I mean, I just seen her commercial for a bra and panties. I was watching something on on one of my apps, Hulu, Disney Plus, something, and I seen her bra and panty. Shout out to Fenty. Uh, Riri. <laughs> <laughs> but what I'm saying is she has plenty. Now, do she I... She got more than enough. There yeah, there but do time. I, you know... Think that two hundred thousand dollars a month um, is excessive? Slightly. I have my own opinions about it. So before I even discuss Hiram, how do you really uh, think about that? Two hundred thousand a week per month. Yeah, that's a lot. But they have four children, so that's fifty thousand dollars a child. That's two million dollars by October. Okay, that's but it's fifty thousand dollars a child. That's come on, That's man. Come, come on. Come okay. On. Okay. So, so I got what you have to say about it. How, what's, what, what, what's your way in? Okay. Um, I do understand the, the importance to take care of your children. Okay. And I'm also. Muy importante. Right. And I'm also understanding what child support is. Child support is me giving money in lieu of my children. Okay. Support loss. Okay. No, 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 no. Not, not in lieu. I'm sorry. It, it's. For the benefit of my children, okay. now, I'm not the type to come over your house, purse and see you getting you gassing up your car, and I'm mad at you because you ain't using the child support directly for the kids. It's for you. You trying to tell me I can't get my Balenciaga nails done? No, no, you can do whatever you want for your for the, in 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 wake of your kids. You know what I'm trying to say? I'm not going to be mad at you because you think that now you got to go get your gas fixed or the muffler fixed or whatever. So I'm that type <laughs> of guy that's paying child support. <coughs> but at the Excuse same me. time, um, my child support is should be realistic based on what um, hell two hundred thousand dollars is a new damn Bentley. That's not a new muffler. 
<laughs> new, what kind of my flares? That's a new Bentley, okay? So I think that's over the top for for kids. Now I'm telling you, they got normal lungs. They ain't got platinum Man, these lungs. These kids got an all they white playroom. They ain't though. got platinum these lungs. These ain't regular smuggles. Yeah, okay, but so they're not what? producing that. They're not generating that. They got a Kanye white octopus in their playroom. They making that money though. So I can't tell you something that the kids ain't generating. Too. The kids money is Kim's making. Kim, Kim, don't. she's making money, but she ain't. But he's making. He, he's got to give money based on what he generates. So he have to pay the kids as if they, they is if they're the songs or something. Them kids ain't generating money like that to be getting that a kind of money, of and they're not using their, that money uh, like that with their social media. Ain't they supposed ain't to have thing, social media? Ain't no but they thing, have it. Ain't no such thing as a platinum pamper. <laughs> okay. And also, what you gonna ship a platinum turds or something? No, it is just ridiculous. That's what I say. So this is a platinum pad. I mean, okay, so I get where you guys are, are are coming from, but um, their lifestyle and how they live and how they do things and how they spend their money, how they have their people take care of their children and their clothes and the but chefs. But it's saying 200000 okay, plus that. Okay, plus but, okay, but, yeah, what, oh but what I'm saying, they also <laughs> live in California, so the the inflation and how they live there is totally different there. Move to I Montana. Mean to, but, okay. Move to Colorado. Move to Colorado. I mean, yeah. that's good. Go to Utah. I mean, you know, their schools, you know, choke, whatever the case may be. Man, that's be. more than a teacher's getting paid. This is 200000 a month. A month? Oh, this My is God. Teachers, hey. teachers, don't tell me about their schools. 200000 a month. And their teachers ain't even getting well, that. But they may have private tutors. I mean. They well, still ain't getting no 200000 a month. I thought Kanye was supposed to be up with a Montessori or something. Didn't he? It's crazy. I mean, like I said, I don't know exactly what their finances is, but. We know he's supposed to be two billion dollar kid. Well, according to right now, okay, uh, gossip break. I just gotta go since we're talking about Kanye. I might as well just throw it on in there. Kanye says <laughs> <laughs> allegedly the IRS froze his money, so he ain't a, a two billion dollar person now. And you know, from the rumors. Via YouTubers and the gossipers, and I'm gonna throw my two cents in the hat. You know, his wife had to come in there, you know, and help him out to get the money unfroze. I mean, and I so mean, that she, she can get, get the two hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> so how I see it, and we seeing all this in the proof. I I'm gonna look at it as okay. I think it's a little bit of genius going on here with the K and the Yay at the end of the day. I look at it as if you know, allegedly, if they was uh, freezing his assets and allegedly, if them other people, Adidas, Adidas, whatever they call, was suing him, if he ain't got no money to be giving out these people because he got to take care of them kids. And we know, you know, over here where we live at, if anything, they're going to make sure them non-melanated kids, whether they melanated or not, depending on who they key to, they're going to keep their money and, you know, the stuff to keep in their, you know, community. So, in my humble opinion, because of the says and the A's and the nays, heck is yeah, he got to give me 200000 I need the house that he bought across the street, whatever Bentley's, uh, Every other car is her that, MO though. And uh, that's how she make her money. I mean, that may be the case, but that's what he married, and they know that that's why she married. What well, this is my opinion, and they know that's why she married him because you know she went through several of our um so called prominent men, you know, you know, the right. athletes, and the but one didn't them have yay money, so at. I'm right, just, so, right. so I'm just going to tell you how I see it. You know, um, uh, okay, Kim, you can have it. Oh, y'all going to, oh, yeah, not me. I'm not going to be poor and broke or nothing. Um, Yeah, he made it, but give it all to me. I'm a, hey. Oh, uh, hey. A so not, thousand that's just my man, humble that's opinion. Crazy, that's just what I think about it. What do you think? That's crazy. Like, that's what Sean thinks. Yeah, we want to hear about math, that. Man, what that? Uh, for for eighteen years, two hundred thousand. Is he making that kind of money? It's well, gonna be, it's gonna be actually eighteen years. The youngest is what four. I'm pregnant right now. <laughs> 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 on it. So we. About 
Speaking of age discrimination, they laugh it a little bit too hard about me being proud of my pregnant. <laughs> Eat a peppy. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, Brandy, you know, Brandy Norwood, Ray J's bigger sister. Yeah, no. She had a housekeeper. Compensation is on the menu, okay? Not the toilets. She's supposed to compensate her former housekeeper for $40,000. Look, she should have talked to Kim K. <laughs> the right. housekeeper should have called Kim. $40,000. No, no, no. $40,000 a month. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Brandy Norwood will pay her former housekeeper $40,000 to settle a lawsuit that the housekeeper filed against her. The housekeeper, Maria Elizabeth Castaneda, through her attorneys from the Lipolis, 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 <laughs> Lapels. All right, they're the attorneys. Um, sued the R&B star for age discrimination, amongst other claims. All right, so apparently there were some other allegations. Don't know what those were. Anyway, according to the court documents, the lawsuit also seeks nearly ninety thousand dollars in attorney fees. The house you're probably gonna get full day. Mm. Told you. Okay. So the attorney stated in the court papers that they took up the woman's case knowing that the legal battle ahead would match their boutique firm against a large firm representing celebrities. To that end, through fiercely litigating the issue, the law group was able to secure a forty thousand dollar settlement for their client within six months of filing the complaint. Not sure how much that is in attorney's fees. But they go on to break it down in the article. Read it. It says uh, they are just they are using this to justify the eighty seven thousand four hundred and fifty four hundred and forty five they have requested in attorney fees. So what's going on? So Brandy didn't sue for what? Um age discrimination. Who who? I didn't I missed the whole damn thing. She had a housekeeper. Yeah she had a sixty plus year old housekeeper. The housekeeper was there. Uh, so basically she was fired from her job February twenty fifth because she was past sixty while Norwood didn't want to employ an older worker. She also alleged that she wasn't paid for her last two work days. Um, now, Brandy's attorneys argued that the plaintiff's age discrimination and failure to prevent discrimination claims were valid under the State Fair Employment and Housing Act because their client did not regularly employ five or more employees. However, they said that Castaneda quit her job voluntarily and was an independent contractor. And she was making $125 a day. Guess what? For cleaning, cooking, and doing laundry. Cleaning, cooking, and doing laundry. She was making a hundred and twenty-five dollars. What was she working like? Yeah, two divide. hours? Divide that. Divide that. <laughs> How many hours was she working? Divide, divide it in eight. Divide hundred and twenty something eight. How much is that? A hundred and twenty. What's that? How much hours? That's, that's terrible. They like you should be able to do that in your head. Well, I can't. <laughs> Get my dad on How much was it? Hell uh, one twenty-five divided by eight hours a day. Yeah, that's fifteen dollars an hour. Get two dollars. That's a fifteen dollars sixty-two hours. You better do. 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 You and they ain't making that. Please, they make it like Terrible. twelve. Shout out to the housekeepers. Yeah, I mean, America. but but, but, but they doing a hundred and something rooms. I mean, you know, I mean, they are doing like twelve, thirteen a piece. Yeah, yeah. But, but I ain't doing two dishes for one hundred twenty-five dollars. Shit, one hundred twenty-five dollars. Shit, she got a dishwasher. You know I know she cook. Do, oh, oh, girl, I ain't got no dishwasher. I got a smooth. I load your dishwasher for one twenty-five. No, but what I'm saying, you got to cook too. No. And, and some people said that. Um, to get some of this fat burger. Some people said the young lady, the older lady, was like, "Yo, um, you go get it yourself." It she was plate. talking to Brandy like that. Said and the lady you, was talking to yeah, Brandy. You go like, get it yourself. I don't feel like it. She was talking like she's you sixty first. years old, man. What but you want okay, to do? Okay, but, but you're an independent contractor. Don't take your young ass up for. I've already made it. Now you can make your plate. Yeah, but but this is what you signed up for, and I'm pretty sure that she was not working for no. Eight hours for no fifteen dollars an hour in where's Brandy at California and in, in, in Cali and let's say that she was 
You know what I would have hit? I ain't gonna even say because y'all gonna be mad if I say what 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 I want to say. So so I'm gonna I'm gonna. I already I'm, said I'd have put you said. What you talking about? I would have asked for, <laughs> for a paper. Mm. Oh Lord, what you mean? I mean? Don't. For, for, uh, that's that's not at all. That's not at all where I thought we were gonna go. <laughs> I told y'all. <laughs> wanna she say. got papers that go to. She's an independent. Kind. Well, <laughs> what I'm saying. So mm-hmm. you independently contracted in the free to this 125 a day for cooking, cleaning, and doing laundry. And I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure she wasn't doing a whole lot for 125 a day. Hey, look though, y'all come at the usual specs with $125 and we're gonna be like, we gone.